Hello there. Before I show you this um, just over three minute short video, I want to just explain what happened. I just want to make it clear I am not a auditor. I didn't go to the intention to audit or anything like that. I was actually at this hospital, Good Hope Hospital in Sutton Coalfield. I was waiting for my wife. And I had a bit of confrontation with this with a security guard who was intent on chucking me out of the hospital. This is the security guard we're looking at now. Right, what happened? Before this guy even turned up, I was just having a conversation with a nice lady. One of, there was two volunteer ladies at her desk close to the hospital door of the Richard Salt section of the hospital. The desk very close to the door and I was just having a conversation. I was a bit bored. Obviously, I'm waiting a long time for my wife. And I just, I just um, I also, I was just talking to another security guard and he was fine. He was happy just to chat. I did notice he, I did notice he didn't have his um, SIA badge on display. And he was sort of um, saying he didn't need to have it on display. Let him know. And I was just having the same conversation with one of the ladies at the desk when this guy turned up and he, he overheard me say something. He overheard me say about the legal requirement or the need to wear it by law. Or just he overheard me conversation. As soon as I said it, the atmosphere changed. He said something like, what did you say about security? In a very sharp voice. Anyway, I went um, away from the desk and I just stood nearer the door, my back to the wall. And straight away, he came up to me and started questioning me why I'm there. And because of his attitude, he stinks. He asked me if I'm waiting for someone. I told him I might be. Then he started moaning because I never had a mask on. At this point, I was feeling rather uncomfortable. So I thought I would go and put a mask on because there was a box of masks near the door. At that point, I decided to start recording on my mobile. I apologise, not the best recording. Like I say, I'm not here to deliberately video anyone. And I was keeping it down a little bit as I had my arms crossed. The audio is quite good on it. So after I, I turn my phone on, record, and put a mask on just to keep I thought this might stop him moaning at me might leave me alone I went and stood in the same place near the door anyways I'll show you the video now Keep your distance. I've got my distance. I've not stepped any further. I can go outside. Distance, right? I'm not going anywhere. Can you wait outside? Hey, brother. No, no, I'm kidding. Can you wait outside? These ladies said I'm right. No. This chap's all right. No, 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 no. I'm asking you to wait outside. I'm not comfortable with you standing here. Yeah. Are you going to wait outside? Oh, just keep your distance. Ask me. Keep your distance. Yeah. No, I'm, I've got my distance. You, you're the one, mate. I've got my distance. Are you going to wait outside? You're being aggressive. For no reason. Yeah, Abdullah, are you receiving? Are you filming? No, in case you hit me. Are you, are you filming? Yeah, in case you hit me, I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> okay. I worked before, but now, now you come this close to me, you're aggressive. Alright. Uh, Why are you so aggressive? I'm not being aggressive. You've, you've, been, you've had a bad attitude from the start. Okay. Yeah. You should, you're in the wrong job, mate. I'm not being aggressive at all. Huh? You're in the wrong job. And you shouldn't be recording in the hospital. Yeah, cash you with it, mate. I'm, who's going to be... You're aggressive. Who's going to be hitting you? Huh? I'm not going to be hitting you. What? You've got a bad attitude and you're aggressive. Okay. I'm not doing nothing, mate. I'm just going for my wife. Problematic, causing, yeah. causing trouble. That's what you're doing. Talking about security. No, and just making conversation. No, no. I'm I wasn't even talking to you. I was talking to that lady. No, you were here with you. Not 
this scene to me. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm going to call my colleague and I'm going to ask you again if you can wait outside and if not, we will escort you out. Oh, you said put a mask on. Okay. I said, yeah, we'll go outside. I said, I'll go in here and so on. He's got a bad attitude. He's in the wrong job, isn't he? Aggressive. Should be around the public, mate. Who's his manager? Who's your manager? Who's your supervisor? Do you know who your supervisor is? Oh, it's just the, okay, I'll keep it down, just in case he is aggressive, that's all. Okay, okay, I'll keep that down. Just in case he, he gets aggressive. Oh, he's come that close, actually. He's come that close. You know, no, yeah. I think all he's after Yeah, when I seen him radio for backup, or the best thing to do is just to go right outside. And less than five minutes later, another two security guards had come across. I seen them coming across. Obviously, they were coming for me. I thought it best to talk to him outside anyway, rather than come in, because I presume he lied. Dodgy, bad attitude, security guard lied, or could have said anything about me. So I spoke to these two security guards, and it was fine with me. It was really nice. Explained his bad attitude and what happened, and he overheard me saying something about he needs to put his SIA license on show, and then was all to me. I think one of them had a moan because um, I was recording. I explained I only started recording when he came close to me. Just for, for my own protection. I think they did ask me to delete it. But I just said, yeah, yeah, sure. I just said that to get rid of them, really. Obviously, I, I was not going to do that. I waited about another half an hour. And my wife was ready then. And I did notice they... His security guard was not there when I went back in to meet up with my wife. So I think they might have put him somewhere else to stop him causing trouble. I did have a polite conversation with one of the volunteer ladies at the desk again, the same one. I'm trying to make the point that if she ever sees um, a security guard getting that close to a member of the public, because it could be someone more vulnerable this time, who is trying to push out the hospital or... He could have got hands on if I hadn't started recording or stood up to him. Who knows? Also, one of the nicest security guards outside the hospital did tell me I can report him where to go. I think I wanted to report him to the SIA instead. This bad attitude, unprofessional guard has no SIA badge on display as well. That's a problem, I can't report him because I don't know his IA number. Seems I can't report him because I don't know his ID, who he is. I thought I'd just put him on YouTube. I'm not sure who I'm going to contact yet, but I will contact someone to put it on their channel. I'll just do that instead of reporting him. I just think it's really bad that none of the security guards display their SIA license. Definitely this one guard did not like to be challenged about this. 